Hey, Fancy Beauties and Bows. Welcome back. Um, just popping in here with an impromptu video. Uh, and I'm in the middle of uh, a project. Uh, just a quick little, what do you call it? Spray paint uh, recycle um, situation. So uh, let me... Okay, let me give you a little bit of a backstory, okay? Um, I need to uh, get my house ready for, um, y'all know I'm 100%, my grand girls. So I am going through the house, just getting it prepared for um, the home study. So... You guys already know I have their brothers and I adopted them. So I need to get the um, grand girls out of custody now. So um, I've been super busy uh, around the house. So I'm just in the now I'm in the process of just fine tuning everything. So I'm downstairs in the. Um, in the basement, I guess, if you want to call it that. So, I'm just give you a quick little pan around. Um, like I said, I'm not 100% complete yet. And then I will let you see this uh, project that I'm working on over here as well. So, all right. So, in this um, laundry room, I found this uh, cabinet on uh, Facebook Marketplace. <laughs> However, I'm not going to put this up in this space. And you all already know why. Because I know I'll be leaving soon. So what I had to do, I had these switched spots. So the dryer was originally over here and this was over here. And I had switched it around today, like a few minutes ago. Um, uh, because you see the situation right here with the uh hot water tank, which is another reason why I don't want to um do an extensive uh remodeling in here. Uh because I'm Sorry about the noise because I'm going to eventually end up leaving. So I don't want to put stuff up and then take it right back down. So if you're faced with this situation and you have something like this that's in the way. Or you have a, a wall or something that's in the way and you have the um, front facing dryer, you know, old school. This is what you could do um, and just switch spots with it. Doesn't affect the um, situation back here either. So as long as you get enough of that tubing, you should be good to go. So it the, the um, let's see if I can come on this side. So this is where the um, tubing starts and I needed it to be long enough to fit over here to the connection behind the dryer so just a little tidbit for you on that now over here to this little project so i want you guys to see this is not just regular um wood it's got that uh bumpy surface so um i didn't like the color it was only 20 bucks I got it off of um, Facebook Marketplace as well. So I just went through, I tried to paint it first. And this is the paint that I was going to use. It wouldn't adhere to it. Um, and I could already tell it was gonna need too many um, layers. So I said, well, let me see what the uh, spray paint will do. And so this is the finish that I'm getting. 
it is still wet right now so yeah it should look pretty good and I just wanted something down here for my grandson when he does his uh, school work and things like that so I'm gonna put it right here against this wall I had the that shelf bookshelf over here and I just moved it um, this stuff right here I don't know if I'm going to put it in the girls' room because, like I said, I only have, what, maybe five more months in here. And then I'm off to the races. Of course, with that being said, that is only if God gives me permission to uh, leave from here. If he does not... Then, um, of course, I could go ahead and make whatever, um, modifications to, uh, make it more comfortable. So, right now, uh, bedroom, that's right, right downstairs. And I just put this little situation together. This was daughter's room with the girls. And so, um... I left most of everything the way she had it and I uh, just made some other changes. The the cribs, the crib was over there and she had her bed going this way. This table was over here and then this situation, the TV was on top of that over here so I just moved it around um, I'm gonna end up taking this and pushing it up against the wall because um, I don't like that right there um, you know plus it's not gonna pass with that with that um, coming out from there like that so yeah, I was also even thinking of bringing my my um, server down here just so the TV can rest on that. You know what I'm saying? And then um, that way that the feet of this right here is not hanging off. Or, you know, I could take this off. I could take those feet off if it comes down to it. Because uh, all she did was just order these feet right here from Amazon. And then it just goes on the back here like this. On the back of your TV. So, just in case you need something like this. That's where she got that from. Um, so yeah, I just left all this stuff <laughs> that she put up here, um, on the wall. I left it. Um, I may take it down. I may take it down because y'all know I don't like, I don't like, um, stuff up there like that. Um, the bathroom is down here. And, oops, here's the bathroom, still the same as when I did it, and then there are the rugs, so you see, I, I didn't really do anything major, like, how I normally go in with um, decorating, I did it. I did it, but let me show you. Let me show you this. We go upstairs. All right, so up here, um, I redid the office. Um, that painting, I did that. I did that. 
get some more light. So it was originally um, like a mountain scene. So everything that's right here was blue. And then this was um, like a sky blue color. So I just painted over that and made it look like this. You can um, put it going uh, horizontally as well, but I kind of like it like that. And then you guys know I, I did that and I did that too. That is my little message board to help me remember appointments and things like that. This is a new find that was on um, Facebook Marketplace as well. And had these um, cubicles already. Just put the, the uh, printer on top of it. My little uh, mosaic mirror wall paintings from, not paintings, but um, wall art. And then, you know, this came from Home Goods, the little lady. And those came from Ross. So I didn't do much over here. That's my, my Macy. Y'all know she passed away. And Troy is in here. Baby's um the grandkids grandfather. And then this is my little humidifier. It's not running right now. So I'm gonna have to take this apart because you can't have that kind of stuff out for the home study. So I'll take that out and um, figure out where to put it. Yep, but there we are. All right, so um, yeah, that's what I've been up to guys, which is, um, one of the reasons I've been kind of sporadic about putting uh, videos up is because I, I've been, you know, just handling things that I need to handle in regards to that situation. So, um, so yeah, I ain't gonna hold you guys. I've been on here probably long enough anyway. And um, I will catch you guys in the next video um i'm staying in a really really positive mindset behind this you know what i'm saying because i'm now gonna go from two kids to four kids <laughs> um under the age of nine so my plate is gonna be pretty full but you know god don't give us too much we can't handle so on that note, I will see you all in the next video. Y'all stay strong, stay faithful, stay focused to God because no matter what you go through, you have to understand that God got you through all of it, through as well as the good times. He's got you through those difficult moments as well that we, you know, one way or another, end up putting ourselves in those by the decisions that we make. When we make those decisions, we make those decisions from the flesh instead of making those decisions for the betterment of ourselves, which is always through God and what he says you should do. So just remember that whenever you're making um, decisions, because this is how I ended up in the situation, um, not, not with the, you know, um, having to get the kids, just, you know, decisions that I made, whatever. Um, so yeah, let me get back to work and finish out what I need to do. I'll probably end up putting a clip or something like that, either in this video or in the next one. And uh, I'll let you guys see how that turned out. All right. So you guys always stay focused on God 
and stay fancy. And I'll see you in the next video. Love you much.